Hello everybody. I had a subscriber named Immigration Freedom who asked me to set up my welder to weld aluminum with DC electrode positive. I tried it in several different ways. I tried to do it without a thumb control and I tried to do it just with a lift arc or scratch arc TIG and I could not get it to work. It will not hold an arc. The only way that I could get it to hold an arc was with high frequency start. So this will be done high frequency start DC electrode positive including the tacking process. So now you'll see the machine come up run through its checkouts you'll see that it's on DC 200 amp maximum I'm TIG high frequency impulse so that's for high frequency starting square wave and it's on hold so it's set up to run through my thumb control so I asked immigration freedom what thickness material he wanted me to weld so I have a piece of 16th inch angle here and a piece of eighth inch flat stock here. He said two millimeter to three millimeter so this covers both bases. I'm using argon for a cover gas at 15 cubic feet per hour. Now even though this works it's not very controllable. Um, if you want a good weld I will recommend and I will continue to weld AC high frequency square wave it's the only way to go you need at least an eighth inch tungsten with this possibly a 532 it's going to ball up on the end because you're not in a square wave so you have uh, 60 hertz is what you're welding at so automatically you've got a balled up tungsten so you have a fairly uncontrollable arc Now you can see by my tungsten and by my cup that it is very hot. It welds very hot. That's why you need to have the bald tungsten. And you end up wrecking a lot of ceramic cups because there's so much heat there. But as you can see by the weld, it works. So if you have no other choice, I guess you can get by. But I could not do it under a lift arc or a scratch start. I needed to have the thumb control and I needed to have square wave high frequency arc starting. So the weld bead doesn't look too bad for what it is with DC. But if you already have to have high frequency impulse to be able to get the arc started and hold an arc then you might as well spend the money and buy a decent AC-DC machine.